The following is a paid program and does not necessarily reflect the views or ideas of the staff or management of KWSH or the 110 Broadcast Group. Good morning and welcome to Seminole Nation radio program. I'm your host today. My name is Edwin Marshall, as I am every week. Uh, it's good to have you here with us this morning. I'll tell you, we got a lot of people out of pocket this morning. Uh, Jeremy sometimes is on the show with me, and he's got a sick kid at home, and Bo's got a, a uh, event with his daughter, uh, I believe, at a college. And uh, just uh, everybody's out of pocket. Nobody but me and Mark Williams, the indomitable Mark Williams behind the camera this morning by the way he'll be on with me later to talk a little bit about the activities that uh went on over the weekend as you all may know mark is a he's not a photographer he's a cinematographer he does uh short films and things like that and does a great job uh but he's going to be talking about a project that he had and uh, as well as other projects that he worked on over the weekend uh, before we get started, moment, Ogida Hayui, Allah to know my day. She may only eat over the nomad Nagio Naga, moment, Nagio Kiskizid and Nomad Ozagad. She mo Kiskizid, I can go Matlani, you don't know. Moment, Anio Nagades, a mo Kiskizip, who is Kunskinoad. Moment, uh, Ebo Mawi Kitskinoad, she mo Kiskizibira as we be. Moment, Mawi Kanskat, Bo White Killer. Robert Bo White Killer. Mahongat gonna know my day. 405 382 All right. I'll tell you, you know, I always want to remind everybody uh, about our friends down at the Seminole Quick Pick down at the corner of Highway 9 and 99 here in Seminole. They're your Sinclair station. Uh, Brenda, Christy, and Autumn, they're always glad to see you down there. And if you show up today during uh, uh, during the live broad, and you hear this during the live broadcast, and uh, you're a tribal member, just go down there, show your tribal ID, and you will get a free large soft drink from the fountain there. Uh, so that's from our friends down at the Seminole Quick Pick. All right. Well, we're going to start off today with our usual church announcements. See, there's churches that are having meetings this weekend. And uh, these may be fourth or eighth Sunday meetings. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't say which, but it is their church regular church meetings this weekend. Although there are other churches that meet every week, uh, these are fourth or eighth Sunday meetings only. First of all, Artisee Baptist Church, that's over near Eufaula, is having a church meeting this weekend, as well as Beaver Baptist Church. I believe Beaver Baptist Church is located down in Cherokee country. Uh, It's got origins with uh, some uh, Cherokee Creek people, and uh, so that's why they're included on this list. I think they're a part of the Muscogee Seminole Wichita Association. Also, Bemo Baptist Church up near Bixby. And uh, Bird Creek Baptist Church near Sasaqua, Buckeye Creek Baptist Church, and that's over near uh, IXL, uh, kind of down around uh, Castle, uh, Deep Fork Kilubi, that's near Shakota, Faith Baptist Church in Dustin, Hickory Ground Number Two, and that's over near Henrietta, between Henrietta and Dustin, uh, Little Casita. Uh, Miccosukee Baptist Church just out here, just a little south of Seminole, a couple of miles. Middle Creek Number 2 Baptist Church, that's over near Holdenville. Montezuma Baptist Church, and that's over near, well, between Okima and Okmulgee, uh, out there way out in the country. Uh, Okfusky Baptist, Indian Baptist Church near Eufaula. Pecan Grove Methodist Church, that's over uh, north of Holdenville. Rock Springs Baptist Church near Sasaqua, Sand Creek, Eufaula, Indian Baptist Church near Wewoka, 
Tomo Jesse Indian Baptist Church near Lamar, and Wetumpka Indian Baptist Church, and that's just a couple of miles out south of Wetumpka. Those are your church meetings for the week. If you'd like to go out and visit, I know they'd all be glad to have you. And uh, speaking of Rock Springs Indian Baptist Church, uh, they have a CD, a two-CD disc, limited edition uh, of uh, hymn songs sung in the Muscogee language. It's called Istijari Inyahegida, or Native Songs. Uh, for information on those, if you'd like to get one, you can call Jim C. Harjo at 405-683-1944. Or you can contact Barbara Jefferson at 405-762-5243. Or Rebecca Larney at 405-683-0556. They're raising funds to uh, build a new roof on their church. And so they're using this to raise funds. So if you like one of these two CD disc collections for $20, Uh, Give any one of those folks a call. That's our friends over at Rock Spring Indian Baptist Church. All right. Coming up on November the 7th, or November the 2nd, rather. uh, That's on a Saturday. uh, Caney Chapel Church is having a singing starting at 6 o'clock in the evening. It's a Veterans Memorial singing. All veterans are welcome and will be recognized. uh, From Bowlegs, Oklahoma, you go three miles east on the Bowlegs Highway 59 east of Bowlegs on Highway 59. Also coming up in December on uh, New Year's Eve, Mary Lee Clark Memorial United Methodist Church is having a New Year's Eve singing from 6.30 in the evening until midnight. That's located at 1100 Howard Drive, Dell City, Oklahoma. All right. Going on right now is a uh, pop took Took Parfka Indian Baptist Church Revival, uh, Praise and Worship Revival. The evangelist is Richard Pickup. The theme is Come Follow Me uh, from a verse from John 8, 12. That's October the 14th through the 18th. And that was last started last night and go until the 18th, 7 o'clock each night. That's at Took Parfka Indian Baptist Church near Calvin. Also... Uh, starting tomorrow, Spring Indian Baptist Church in Sasakwa is having a fall revival. The evangelist will be Brother Larry Factor. Um, the uh, theme of the revival is the gift of grace. Starts at 7 o'clock every night. That's starting tomorrow. And if you'd like a ride, you can text 405-380-2146. All right, I have an obituary here I'd like to read. This is uh, actually the funeral is already happened but it was after our last radio broadcast uh, fred tom billy passed away on saturday october the 5th at hillcrest hospital in tulsa at the age of 74 he was born january 17 1945 in sasaqua to thomas billy senior and elsie may mcgirt faulkner uh, he, att- he attended holdenville public schools he was married to marianne fixco in 1962 in Holdenville. Uh, He was a self-employed plumber. Uh, He served his country in the Army National Guard. He enjoyed camping, fishing, grandkids, visiting family, and always working. Wake services were held uh, last Tuesday at Hudson Phillips Funeral Home Chapel, and funeral services were also held at uh, Hudson Phillips Funeral Home Chapel with Pastor Danny Faulkner officiating on Wednesday, October the 9th. Uh, I just wanted to make mention of that because we didn't get a chance to uh, have an obituary last week. And I uh, I had a lot of regard for Fred Billy. He, uh, as a matter of fact, just recently did some plumbing work on my house. Uh, Fred said he had retired but came out of retirement just to do that little job on my house. So I really appreciate him. Real, real pleasant fellow. I know he leaves behind a large family. All right. OAP, the Older Americans Program, their feeding program uh, menu. Uh, Today they're going to have chicken fried chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, California blend vegetables, and chocolate cake. Wow, that's good. And then tomorrow, goulash. Who doesn't like goulash? 
goulash, carrots, bread, and dirt cup. I guess that's a dessert, dirt cup. Then on Thursday, beef tips with rice, mixed vegetables, fried bread, and cobbler. Then on Friday, as they do every Friday, it's breakfast starting at 8 o'clock until 9 o'clock. Pancakes, bacon, scrambled eggs, biscuits and gravy, cereal, and milk. Then next Monday, tuna salad sandwiches, chicken noodle soup, saltines, and fruit parfait. So uh, if you're an elder, I think it's uh, 60 and over. Uh, you're welcome to come out every day starting at 1130 till 1230 for lunch. And then on Fridays from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. It's located in the Senior Citizens Building there near the, at the complex known We Woke It. All right, coming up Friday, October the 25th. That's, uh, I think, a week from Friday. Uh, from 11 to 2 o'clock, the Quarterly Elder Forum. Uh, the theme of this forum will be the ways of our ancestors. Come and join us as our elders discuss their memories of the traditions and customs they observed and experienced in their childhood. Hear about the changes or differences and their opinions of Native society today versus then. Uh, they'll talk about traditional relationships, familial kinships, child raising, societal norms, and traditional values. Those are the topics to be covered, primarily in the Muscogee Seminole Creek language. This is a great opportunity for a lesson in traditional family dynamics. Uh, this is going to be a potluck event, so if you'd like to come, please bring a dish, traditional meal. Uh, bring something good, something traditional, like maybe Chadahaga, Sakonipki, Ozavki, Talek Salmolki, Talak Chadi, uh, Blue Bread, um, Hominy and Pork, Sofki, uh, Fry Bread, uh, Red Beans. I guess that's a traditional dish. dish. We love it. Anyway, but drinks and desserts will be provided, so come on out. That'll be Friday, October the 25th at Pomahawka School. Uh, Pomahawka School is located at 35531 East West 1170 or five miles north of Seminole on Highway 9 and a half mile west on 1170 Road. All right. Uh, Baby Mobile, Infant Crisis Services Baby Mobile will be providing diapers, formula, and food for babies and toddlers under four. First come, first serve, legal guardian must be present, and this is going to be held at the Seminole Nation Higher Ed Program at 215 East Evans in Seminole on November the 13th, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's a mobile. It's a vehicle that's set outside the office there, and uh, so if you like, if you got a small baby and you'd like uh, some help with the baby, uh, this is diapers, formula, and food for babies and toddlers under four years old. Uh, come on out to Seminole Nation Higher Ed on November the 13th at 10 o'clock. All right, this one all the kiddos want to hear about, Halloween Carnival. Uh, Friday, October the 25th, starting at 5.30 in the evening till 7.30 at the Mixsookie Mission Gym. I know a lot of the tribal programs are getting together and they're having booths in there. Uh, there's going to be a lot of games, a lot of fun, a lot of candy, a lot of treats, and a lot of scary stuff too, I'm sure. There will be door prizes, treats, games. This is sponsored by Seminole Nation, Oklahoma Alcohol and Substance Abuse Program. It's going to be at the Mixsookie Mission Gym on Friday, October the 25th from 5.30 to 7.30. All right. The Healthy Lifestyle and Diabetes Prevention Program uh, has a program going on to uh, its classes for 16 weeks. Uh, classes will be held at Seminole Nation Senior Citizen Center. Um, let's see. Starting October 3rd at 5.30 in the evening, you'll receive the skills you need to manage stress, be more physically active, eat healthy, and lose weight. A uh, trained lifestyle coach will be ready to give you uh, all the information and all the assistance you need. For more information or to enroll, call them. It's at the Walk Indian Health Center uh, Community Health Department. Call them at 405-257-7364. Uh, lifestyle coaches are Ron McIntosh and Myra McKitty. Uh, Cody Foster is the RN for the Tribal Diabetes Program. So give them a call. All right. 
Speaking of Cody, uh, he's got a little situation that he has every Friday morning at the OAP when the elders eat breakfast. But uh, from 7.30 to 9 o'clock, uh, he has a little program called Coffee Talk. Uh, you, there's open floor topics on health. Uh, you can learn about what all those numbers mean that they give you, the A1C, your uh, blood sugar numbers. Uh, they can talk about uh, things that you need to do to maintain a healthy heart. Uh, come visit with the Seminole Nation Diabetes Nurse Cody Foster. Uh, you can call him at 405 234 5276. And tomorrow at the Chavigny Wellness Center at the Miccosukee Mission, there's going to be a cooking demo uh, starting at 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock with Ron McIntosh. He's a public health nutritionist with the Wewoka Clinic. For more information, you can call 405 234 5274. And uh, that's he's doing that in conjunction with Seminole Nation Diabetes Program. All right. The Seminole Nation BCR Commission is looking for a new design for Seminole Nation veteran tags. And we want you, the tribal member, to be involved. The contest began October the 1st and runs through November the 29th. All you have to do is be an enrolled member of the Seminole Nation, design your own tag for the veterans of Seminole Nation that fit within the guidelines listed. Then turn in your application and design no later than November 29th at 4.30. Uh, applications may be mailed, emailed, or picked up at Seminole Nation BCR Commission during regular business hours. Their number is 405-382-8617. Coming up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of this week, the Fall Break Basketball Tournament at the Miccosukee Mission uh, Gym. It's being hosted by Tukabuchi Church, uh, and it's to benefit their Christmas program. Three games guaranteed. The divisions are girls age 3rd uh, and 4th grade, boys 3rd and 4th grade, and girls 5th and 6th grade, and boys 5th and 6th grade. They're only taking six teams in each division. First and second place team and individual rewards will be given out. Awards will be given out. You can contact Eric Clocko at 405-824-5197. Once again, the proceeds will go towards Togobuchi Church Christmas program. And then there's a fall basketball festival, a one-day tournament coming up on November the 2nd. Uh, it doesn't say, uh, I don't think it says where. But uh, I assume it must be the Miccosukee Mission Gym. Uh, one day tournament, November the 2nd. Uh, there's uh, one, two, three, four categories. One is the first and second grade boys, then the third and fourth boys and girls, then the third and fourth grade boys and girls, then the fifth and sixth grade boys and girls, and the seventh and eighth grade boys and girls. Uh, these are combined grades seventh and eighth, fifth and sixth, third and fourth, and first and second. The cost is $75 a team. It's due by the first game. Uh, yes, it does say Seminole Nation Gym. Uh, prizes, first and second place medals in each division, only taking four teams per division. The deadline to enter is October 30th. For more information, you can call Rocky at 405-432-6574. Uh, let's see. Did we have another announcement, Mark? Is that it? Uh, all right that's our announcements for this week and uh man there's a lot of stuff going on but i'll tell you we just came off of a week where we had a lot of stuff going on too and we're going to talk about that uh mark you want to go ahead and come on set uh mark williams of course like i said is our uh cinematographer with the communications department he's uh assistant to mr bo white killer and uh there was a, of course, this last week and, and yesterday in particular was a, a Indigenous Day across the United States, and this is a, this is a, uh, 
an event that is growing and growing and growing every year. A lot of states and municipalities uh, have uh, canceled all of their Columbus Day events in favor of uh, Native American Day. We started out calling it Native American Day. Now we call it Indigenous Day because we've kind of internationalized it. Right. We, uh, we yeah. include South Americans and Hawaiian, Native Hawaiians, and anybody else that's indigenous. Uh, so... Uh, you yourself were in Norman yesterday, you yes. along with Jeremy and uh, uh, I think Bo. Was it Bo? Yeah, Bo. Bo joined us. Uh, Bo brought his daughters with him. And mm -hmm. so uh, so it was a lot of fun. So we were able to take the whole day in. A lot of stuff going on. There was a lot of places. There was oh, yeah. Norman, Oklahoma City, like two in Oklahoma City. Yeah, OCU was having one. Yeah. Uh, UCO. Yeah. Uh, Edmund, Ed Edmund, yeah. Edmund. Tulsa. Um, Tulsa, Okmogi, Muskogee. Hey, a big one in Lawton, Muskogee. They did seven. four days worth up in Muskogee. They yeah. started Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Yeah. You were involved in that. I was a part of that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But let's start right there and okay. tell us a little bit. Mark, uh, I know that I don't have a list in front of me, but they started out, I believe, Friday with a uh, stomp dance at Dana Tiger's place or something yes. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, I think that was Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, uh, I think they call it the Legacy Learning Center or something yeah. like that. And uh, Dana Tiger is doing a lot of things over around Muskogee to preserve mm -hmm. the culture and the traditions. So they started Friday night with a stomp dance, and I think Duck Creek might have hosted that. They I looks so. like they might have had a pretty good little right. crowd. And then it started. Uh, let's see, Saturday uh, came your event. That right? was me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so um, as you mentioned, I, I am a filmmaker. I've been doing it for a pretty long time. So uh, as recently, the past few years, I've got a lot of native content, a lot of documentaries. I wonder um, why. I've got <laughs> – and it's, it's, it's so weird. So when I started getting into filmmaking, it was I was I, I'm a, I was a writer and director. I'm still a writer, but started doing documentary filmmaking. You know, we've, and, got, we've got a lot of – people that have gotten into documentary yeah. filmmaking of course you know uh it, uh native just seem to have a knack for this thing because we got a lot of good filmmakers we, we out got there. some stories to tell yeah, yeah we got some stories to tell sterling harjo you know he kind of pioneered in yeah. a lot of ways and uh he's doing great over at the cherokee nation mm -hmm. and with OCO, yeah, yeah 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 but it's, anyway go back let's go back to the event uh about your part of it yeah so um uh, britney contacted me a few months ago about coming up there they were doing the. this is the first annual thing for them the whole yeah. event's the first annual and um she wanted to showcase some films and so she knew i had a bunch of uh documentaries i've highlighted some native athletes and so mm -hmm. she asked if i would bring it on and um so it was kind of the the whole lineup was a lot of my films uh back to back yeah and so um you know, with the first Mar the Mark Williams it, extravaganza, it ended up kind of being something like that because of yeah. some schedule changes and there was some hiccups, and so we had to kind of quickly revamp and move some things around. So it ended up being the whole festival was my films, yeah. and so uh, which was kind of it, it ended up being kind of working in, in our favor as far as with Seminole Nation because the very first short film I did with Seminole Nation was uh, Over Cheyenne Factor. Yeah, she's a softball player for OSU, so mm -hmm. we was able to. It made its film festival I, premiere. I hear you got a great response with that one. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, they, they follow her, and she's yeah. got a good, you know, kids really look up to her, and so yeah. we was able to tell that story. So yeah. we got to showcase it on the big screen on Saturday. At the Roxy Theater in Muskogee. At the historic Roxy Theater. At the historic yeah, Roxy yeah, Theater. So. Yeah, well, I hear you had a good turnout uh, throughout the day, and uh, I, and that's great because, you know, that's, that's something, I guess, you know, uh, something that's, getting a lot more attention are these documentaries that our native people are making and like i said you know there's sterling there's yourself uh there's several other filmmakers out there mm -hmm. and uh i i think that's great because it gives us a diversity of views mm -hmm. uh not just us but the whole world you know mm -hmm. uh I, I was thinking yesterday about this indigenous day thing and i thought you know 20 years ago 25 years ago this couldn't have happened because there was a different mindset, a different, um, I guess, a different attitude, even right here in Oklahoma, the land of the red man. But now that's changing. People are becoming more uh, culturally aware because of things like this. Mm -hmm. There were some other events as well over the weekend in Muskogee. Uh, the same day that you were doing that, there was... Uh, yeah, on Saturday was demonstrations, a big day. and They had uh, something called Cultural Day, and so over at Honors Park, they had... Uh, 
uh, stick ball playing. Some uh, they were shooting some bows, um, and then around the same time, the film festival across the street, there was some native musicians doing their thing, having a, having a concert. Yeah. All this was free too. Yeah. So it was free free to the public. And um, then after your after your showing, the comedy show, the comedy show, yeah, yeah. they ended the night. Uh, four comedians came out there, hit the stage, and they yeah. did their thing. And this continued on into Sunday as well. I had, yeah. uh, I think, a big long church service. Yeah, a lot of hymn singing. Hymn singing. Hymn singing yeah. on Sunday. I think Major, uh, 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 my, my good friend, Major McHenry might have been emceeing okay. that. Yeah. And uh, Major, you know, he's quite a singer himself. I, I'm sure he drew a big crowd. And uh, I went to one of uh, his events last week at his church, and he had a house full. So uh, they had that. And then... Uh, I can't remember what else. I think there was a couple other events on Sunday, and mm-hmm. then, uh, then it carried on over into Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so they, they had, had a march. Some, yeah, at Honor Heights Park. Yeah, I believe it was yeah. at the park, and uh, they am along with everybody. Else. And of course, you can imagine this Indian people. So there's feeding involved oh, yeah. every once in a while. Yeah. There are dinners and snacks and stuff yeah. like that. So, but that it, it, it all culminated with a big. Uh, Smiling Vic and the Soul Monkey show on Monday night. Mm-hmm. Uh, where where where'd they have that at? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Where, where they where Smiling Vic was at? Yeah. Um, like I said, I was at OU at the time. So yeah. yeah I'm not sure exactly. Yeah. yeah. Where they had it, but uh, for what I've been seeing on Facebook, just their clips they've been showing, they went live for a little bit. So um, looked like they had a good turnout. And yeah. Good uh, a good time. Yeah. Well, that's great. I congratulate all those people over at uh, Brittany Cuevas and her crew over in yeah. Muskogee. And then my, you just mentioned something about being at OU Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about what happened there. Yeah, so it was their Indigenous Day celebration. So uh, 9 o'clock, they started there on campus at uh, Dale Hall with the flags, and we had, they had um, uh, some speakers, and they, they marched into the South Oval. Um and that's where they had the the event, uh, the ceremony from that point. Uh, the mayor was there. The OU president was there. Uh, different student associations was there speaking. Uh, so it was a really good turnout. Um, they had, you know, from the tone of the speeches made by the mayor and yeah. the president of OU, yeah, there's a there, there's a real awareness these days. You know, mm-hmm. and you can tell it's not. You know, before it was like native. Why? You know, what about natives? You know, right, right. Yeah, but I think they're starting to realize that there's a significance to being the indigenous people in this mm-hmm. country. You know, and and hopefully that will cause a lot of people to think in a lot of other ways. Yeah, that the president even canceled canceled a meeting uh, right then and there. He he walked in the parade part, and he was supposed to just walk and then head to a meeting. But he said he was just taking everything in. He wanted yeah. to say some words, so he canceled his meeting and he went up there that's and great. spoke and said some things, some very really good things. Yeah, that's great. All right, and then, like I said, you know, they had activities. I saw some Facebook films, uh, like what was going on in Tulsa, yeah. you know, yeah. and uh, there yeah. was some dancing on the Guthrie Green, I believe it was, and and a lot of activities going on in Tulsa. The mayor came out and spoke, and. You know, and of course, like I said, Muskogee, UCO, uh, and uh, where else? O- OCU had OCU, something. I OCU. think uh, uh, Mayor Holt was over there. Yeah, and I'm sure. The proclamation. Over yeah, there. I'm sure all our relatives down south and over on the western side of the state. Mm-hmm. You know, they had a lot of things going on too. So, you know, that's a growing thing. Every year, it gets bigger and bigger and mm-hmm. bigger. And uh, nobody, nobody. I never even heard the word Columbus Day yesterday, mm-hmm. anywhere. You know, uh, indigenous. Or our Native American Day, Indigenous Day, whatever. Uh, but that's great. Uh, it's great to be Native, you know? Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Every day, every yeah. day. Well, what do we got coming up? What you got coming up? I know that you got some plans. You're always you're always planning and doing. Uh, we got some video productions uh, that we've already shot. We're kind of in post-productions right now. Yeah. Um, I, I put out a teaser on the uh, Simul Nation's Facebook page. That we're doing about the OAP uh, mm-hmm. program, which is going to be, yeah. I think it's going to be a really good video. Um, we're doing a profile thing on Jake Tiger. Yeah. Um, and then I've been covering a bunch of the events around here, so just putting everything together, kind of mm-hmm. like re- recap stuff. So. You know, you and I were kind of brainstorming this morning. Yeah. Talking about possibilities and the way things, uh, that things you kind of like to see. And uh, I think that there's so much subject matter out there. There is. That's, that's untouched. 
Mm-hmm. You know, one little thing that I talked about with him was, uh, you know, we go out and we document all of the ceremonies and we document all the official uh, events and things like that. But sometimes behind the scenes events are interesting. You know, mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. talked to Mark about maybe going to a church eight Sunday before the church uh, on Saturday, but going out to the ceremonial grounds before the ceremonial dancing, go to the camps, just you know, check in with the people that live the, the regular life and see how it is out there. I think it'd be very interesting. Mm-hmm. So, look forward to that and a lot of other things coming up. Mark, uh, we sure you know we sure enjoy you being on board. You do a great job, and uh, I think we look forward to quite a few more things happening uh, from the Seminole Nation Communication Department. Mr. Bo White Killer, of course, is the director, and uh, we appreciate Bo too. So. Uh, I want to say thank you for coming on today, talking about that. Yeah. You're usually over I'm there. Usually behind, behind there, yeah. yeah but. <laughs> Who's that guy? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's good to have you on here, and uh, looks like we're just about out of time, so... I want to thank you all for joining us here on the Seminole Nation radio program. I'm Edwin Marshall. I'm your host. We'll be back next week with another great Seminole Nation radio program. Bye-bye.